The cyber attack at Loveless Hospital is still impacting workers and patients today. The hospital says the ransomware attack happened on Thanksgiving. Action 7 News reporter Andres Valle joins us live from the hospital. And Andres, you talked to a patient who doesn't even know when she'll be seen for treatment. Brandon Ron, that's right. The patient I spoke to, she spoke to suffers from COPD, COPD, a respiratory health issue, and the appointment that got canceled took her five months to get. And as of right now, because of the cyber attack, she has no idea when that appointment will happen. They canceled it the, the night before because um, they were hoping things were going to come back online. Um, so my appointment was supposed to be today, and it usually takes at least four months out to get an appointment. Sometimes it's almost a year. Another day of working by paper and pen at Loveless Hospital in downtown Albuquerque. According to the hospital, Loveless Health Systems is experiencing a network outage attributed to a potential security incident. Its parent company, Ardent Health Services, says they're working to fix the problem and restore access. Inside the hospital, a worker who chose not to be identified says it's chaos. But it was as simple as clicking a few buttons, and now it's a paper that has to go through five or six different people and end up in a specific place in a binder about that patient. So things are taking a lot longer. It's been pretty chaotic. With no online access to her medical documents, Maggie Winter says she can't even find another doctor to see her. Everything's online. All my test results, the uh, CTs and yeah, any blood tests and any any of his notes explaining, you know, explaining my condition to me and what I should do and stuff like that. It's all in my chart online. It just is crazy to think about how many people are impacted. And the spokesperson person for the hospital did let me know that they're trying to contact anybody, uh, any patients to reschedule their appointments. As of right now, their systems are still not up to date and they don't have a timeline of when that will happen. Reporting downtown Albuquerque, I'm Andres Valle for KWT Action 7 News. Andres, thank you. Loveless's parent company was reporting outages at numerous hospitals across several states. As we're here in Albuquerque, the hospital is still asking local emergency medical services to divert patients to other medical facilities.